Welcome everyone. This is a video on Visio. I'm trying very hard to keep my New York way of saying things uh, and pronouncing them in ways that you can hear um, and understand. I was born and raised in New York City, but have since moved to Miami, Florida. So I'm adjusting to trying to talk like a normal human being and not a uh, person with a heavy New York accent, which I think I'm starting to work on. Anyway, I, I want to welcome you to the class. This is going to be the first of many videos that I will be making. I have not pre-recorded this or written a script, so I may make a mistake and I hope that that will not be too distracting for you. But what I want to do is clarify a few things about Visio. I know some of you may be concerned about using it if you have not used it in the past, but it is really easy, especially for the first assignment, which is a system. And in this video, I'm going to use a coffee maker as a system. Remember, a system basically in its simplest terms is just a bunch of interconnected parts that produce a product. So in this particular case, it is something that many of us make in the morning, and that is a fresh hot cup of coffee. So I'm going to open up Visio and I'm going to use the search bar down at the very bottom. And since I've had it open previously, I will just click on that. And so notice that I have a bunch of stuff up here, basic, blank. And what I want to do is just show you a few things about it before we actually do it. So let's go and click on new. And notice the multitude of different things that you can do. So when we do the network Visio, you can use this as a starter. But there's so many other things that you can use. This is a basic network as well. And I'm going to make a video and show you step by step how to do the network diagram, which includes a switch, a, a router, and a bunch of other things. So that hopefully will help you. But in this particular case, I'm not going to use a blank drawing. I'm going to use a basic diagram, or you could use a flow chart. But the basic diagram has a few more exciting things in it. So once I open it up, I'm just going to click on Create. So what I want to do right away is save it. So I'm just going to go File and Save As. And I'm going to use this. Visio over here, and I'll call it Coffee 2. Obviously, I can't call it Coffee because I've already created one. This is a linked list video that I'm making for my programming class to show them how to do linked lists. But since it's not programming, you do not have to worry about it. So we have a blank diagram, and we have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Really, the only thing we're going to need to use is the square and maybe the decision one, uh, which is a rectangle that's or a um, kind of like a not really sure what you call it. But let me see if we have it in here. I did not use this one in here. Ah, here it is, the diamond. There we go. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just choose rectangle. Or you could choose square, either one. So let's choose square just to make it look consistent. And I'm dragging it down. Now, what I want to do is just put in text in here. And so the very first thing I do in the morning is wake up. Obviously, you're not going to make coffee if you wake up uh, too late. So let's go and put this here. And again, these are large ones and you can make them smaller so we're not going to worry about that right now but the very first thing I want to do is and there's other ways to do it let me right click and choose edit text and I'll put in get out of bed now notice that the text is small so what I want to do is make it bigger and then I'm going to show you how to do it uh, for all of them, so you don't have to do each one. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to click on this to make it a size that looks nice. Nice. All right. So get out of bed, and probably want to edit it. 
and do a little bit of spelling properly and change this to get out of bed and that takes care of that. Then the next thing I want to do is make a decision. And my wife and I are not on the same page on this, but let's use a decision. And what we're going to do here is we're going to decide, are we going to make regular or decaf? So notice all I'm doing is taking the shape and dragging it and put it on. So as you go up there, notice the green lines. So this one here will put a green line in the middle in here. If I wanted to go up top, that will be up top. So let's put it in the middle. And then I'm going to right click and do edit text. I'm going to put regular or decaf. And that's just a decision. Now, normally when you do that, you branch one way based upon one decision and another way. We don't really need to do that. I'm just putting this here. And then I will show you how to put connectors in here. And let's go and change this to put in water. I don't know about you, but you need water to make coffee. And I will hit the enter key here so I can make it a little bit bigger. And now I need another one. So I'm going to copy and paste just to show you a quick way that you can duplicate a design and we can just drag it and put it here. Notice it already has the text in here. So I just did it that way to show you. And the next one is going to be put in your filter. So that's about as much as I'm going to put on this one over here. I can make the shape smaller. So I think what I'm going to do is make them a little bit smaller. And I'm going to control click on each one. So now notice that you have them all selected. And I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller. There's also other ways that you can resize it. But I want to show you how you can do that. So now we have a dilemma. If I choose the square, notice that it's bigger. So what I'm going to do here is just copy and paste them so I get the same size. And I'll move it over here. And then in my next video, I will show you how you can distribute these in here. It's really very easy. You see the align in here is one of the things and you have position. So you can align them by center. And you can group them. You can do all kinds of things in here. So for right now, I'm going to leave that alone. But you could distribute these equally, which would put a little bit of the same space between each one. But we're not going to do that right now. So we have two uh, put in filters. And this time we need to put in coffee. So that looks good. So our next one is, and I'm guilty of not doing this, is turning on the machine. So let me do that. And I'm going again, copy and paste. Drag this down. And notice how they're lined up with the green. And then I will paste one more time. And this that's going to be pour the coffee. And then I will show you how this one's not lined up. So let's, so actually, you know what? Let's just do it this way. I'm going to click and control click this one. And I'm going to go to a line and I'm going to align them either the top or the middle. So notice that they aligned on the top. So that looks good. So we have put in the coffee, pour coffee. And that looks good. So what I want to do now is show you how we can, again, make these bigger. So this happens to be 10 point. This happens to be 12 point. And we can make it bigger. This one happens to be 18. 
So let's just click on every one of these. And let's just hit the drop down to make it 18. And now notice that this regular or decap is too big. So in that particular case, we'll just make this one a little bit smaller. Or we can make the triangle or the diamond a little bigger. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the shift key down. And I'm dragging it down. So now I see it the same as on the bottom. And I'm going to do it here. So that looks good. It's still a little bit too small so i can drag it this way and make it a little bit bigger or i can just click on it and drop it down a little bit so that's 14 that's a little bit too small let's try it was 16 let's try 16 that seems to be the winner so now what we need is connectors so if we're using these shapes it's very easy to do a connector so what i want to do here is notice that i have pointer tools selected i'm going to click on connector and I'm just going to see the little box there and I'm just going to drag it to the next one and then drag it to the next one now let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see this is an arrow so you can see the progression and that did not go over there we go we'll do this here then we're going to go down here and we're going to go here. So now what we need is two things in here. And probably should have one called drink coffee. So let's create another one here. Uh, let's see if our paste still works. Which it did. And that happened because i on connector. So I need to be on the pointer tool. Let's move this over here. And now they're lined up. And we'll do a connector from here here and that did not work so let's try to do it again and now we're looking pretty good let me choose the pointer so what we need to do here is just change this to enjoy coffee and we'll make these two um, control clicking and I'm going to make this, I believe it was 18. So now you go, um, how do I put in a picture? Really very easy. So I want to save this here. And then you can put text in here as well. Notice you have a text over here. So you can put in how to make coffee. So let's use this one here. Let's see what we have for shape styles. I don't see anything really brownish. But so let's use this here and put in how to make coffee or making coffee. And then notice that this is not really being very nice. So now we have it in here. So we have an issue. So that's why it's always easy to step uh, uh, in and just use your undo. And let's undo this. And let's go to the pointer tool here. And if we click on edit text, we can change the text to a different color. So we have black here. Let's go and change it to white and see if we have that solves the problem. And we're good. Then I want to click on this over here. And we have all kinds of things that we can do. So let's go to shape effects. And again, you don't have to do any of this stuff. I want to show you it. I like bevels. And the bevels make it look more like a button. So I have this here. Then what I'm going to do is make sure I'm going to pointer. I'm going to move this over here. Get it out of the way. And now I want to put a little bit of space in here because I want to have a nice coffee pot. You know, again, you don't have to do anything. So I'm going to select everything by dragging my mouse over, or you can select them one at a time, and I'm going to move them down a bit. So what I want to do now is I want to put a nice picture of a coffee pot. So the easiest way to do it is just click on Insert, and go to Pictures and Online Pictures. And let's choose... 
we'll call it coffee maker. See what we can come up with. So I have all kinds of things. Uh, here's one that's nice. I recommend having one with a white so you don't have that background that you have to worry about. Here's another one that looks good and it may be very big. So it's not a problem. Now notice down here it says insert. That's okay. And we couldn't download the pictures that you selected. Well, that's not nice. That probably means it's not available. Uh, so let's find another one. Let's try this one and see if that works. And there we go. Now, obviously, this is too big. So we can just make it smaller. And again, you do not have to do any of this stuff here. And there are more fancy things that you can do with this. If you need to crop it and we want to get rid of some of this over here, I'm going to click on crop. And we can get a little bit of that without actually making the picture. Now you want to make sure that you're on the crop and you're good. So that's one way that you can do it. So we have shape styles that you can do or mess around with here. There's, there's all kinds of things that you can do to do stuff. I wouldn't mess around too much with it. Again, you have shadow reflection that you can play around with. All these things, again, are nothing that you need to worry about. I just want to show you some of the options that are there without overwhelming you. So now we have coffee making coffee. You can put move things around. And now let's find a nice hot cup of coffee. So we're going to go to insert. And we want a picture. And we want an online picture. And let's type it hot cup of coffee. See what we can come up with. Yeah, let's see. We want a mug. All right, let's do this one. All right, so it didn't like that one either. Uh, see if we have, find a nice mug. Let's try this one. here. And there we go. Now, obviously, that's way too big. So let's go and make this smaller. And notice that you don't have the handles to fix. So we're just going to move this ground down a little bit, and we'll make this here. And we want to make it smaller again. And there's ways to resize it, but I'll save that for a future video. So then in this particular case, I'm going to use crop. And let's get rid of some of this stuff here. And we're good. So done. Click on home. I want the pointer tool. And I will just move it down here. And that is everything in this video. So I hope that this was helpful for you. And we're looking good for the next video. So I'm going to pause it.